Samsung is renowned for producing some of the best Android phones on the market, and they excel in creating OLED panels. However, their top displays are not reserved for their smartphones. The highly anticipated Google Pixel 9 series and the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Duo are set to feature Samsung's top-of-the-line OLED panels. Both Apple's 2024 Pro models and Google's upcoming lineup are reported to be equipped with the advanced M14 OLED technology, which is a testament to Samsung's expertise in screen manufacturing. As a leader in the industry, Samsung is known for producing high-performance OLED screens using the latest materials. Their most advanced displays are part of the M series, with higher model numbers indicating superior quality. It is rumored that Samsung will supply OLED panels for all four models of the iPhone 16. But not all versions will receive the same treatment. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max are expected to feature higher quality LTPO screens with OLEDs, based on the M14 technology. For those unfamiliar with the terminology, the letter M in M14 refers to a specific set of materials utilized by Samsung in their OLED screens. The number 14 signifies the quality of these materials with higher numbers indicating better performance in terms of brightness and lifespan. This marks the first time that this material will be used in a smartphone, and it is anticipated to outperform existing technologies in terms of brightness and lifespan. Apple has chosen to exclusively use the M14 technology for its premium iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max models, while the standard and variants will continue to feature the M12 technology found in the current generation. This strategic decision reflects the commitment to delivering the best possible display performance in their flagship models. There's still some debate over the screen size the iPhone 16 Plus is going to come with, and from what we've heard so far, Every iPhone model could be changing its screen size this year, perhaps up to 6.9 inches with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Apart from this, Apple is currently in the process of making it easier to remove the battery from the iPhone 16 to comply with EU regulations. The sleek designs of most modern smartphones have made it increasingly difficult to access and replace batteries compared to older mobile devices. With new rules from the European Union looming, Manufacturers are being forced to reconsider their battery removal processes, and Apple seems to be taking steps to ensure compliance with the upcoming iPhone model. Recent reports suggest that the tech giant will be introducing a redesigned battery casing for the iPhone 16. Aligning with previous leaks, sources have indicated that the new battery removal process will be somewhat simplified, although it may still require professional assistance. Apple is working towards making the process less intricate and risky to adhere to the new EU legislation. Taking out the battery from an iPhone 15 involves a series of delicate steps, such as carefully detaching the adhesive strips that secure the battery in place using tools like tweezers or a plastic card. However, there might be a separation between the A18 and A18 Pro models, with certain modules disabled or binned to distinguish between them. The A18 chip planned for the iPhone 16 Pro models is expected to come with an enhanced neural engine featuring significantly more cores for better AI and machine learning performance, along with a larger die size to address overheating issues. The iPhone 16 lineup is rumored to introduce a new thermal design. Apple is reportedly developing a graphene thermal system for these models. While the iPhone 16 Pro variants could also feature a metal battery casing to enhance heat dissipation graphene known for its superior thermal conductivity compared to copper, which is currently used in iPhone heat sinks, may be used in the new system. Moreover, the standard iPhone 16 models may receive an upgrade to 8GB of RAM, up from 6GB in the iPhone 15 models. This means that all four iPhone 16 models are likely to offer 8GB of RAM, while many things remain similar, there are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware and power. Better and brighter displays, along with the new battery thermal technology, should enhance the experience and work well with the new AI features. Now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, it's probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade. But for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, it's going to be a great choice. 
As we approach the launch, more and more information is going to continue to come in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.